animation secrets. I'm excited to announce this new YouTube series I'm gonna create called Animation Secrets. And it's gonna be a weekly short video where I discuss some industry insights through my 10 years of experience and kind of the topics of things that I think students don't even know to ask questions about. And so that's what we're gonna cover in these short weekly videos. And if there is a topic that you want me to cover, please ask it in the comments, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. And for this first kind of announcement video, I thought it'd be worth just digging a little bit behind the scenes and showing you how I made that animation for the bumper of the Animation Secrets title video. So let me jump over into Unreal because that is how I rendered this scene. So I essentially took, th this is an animation secret, the Unreal Marketplace. Every month they have free assets that come out as well as a permanent collection of assets. And that's what I used for this title. This uh, treasure chest kind of area is called Ancient Treasures. It is on the permanent uh, library, I think, for free. And this skeleton character is a variation of one of the Paragon Gideon assets. And so I'm showing those hopefully right now if I'm editing this correctly. <laughs> um, and that is an animation secret. I think a lot of my animators and people who don't know Unreal just don't even realize how many high quality assets that there are. And just with a little bit of Unreal knowledge, you can create something like this without having to do a ton of look development and texturing and modeling all on your own. And what I essentially did was take these assets and I brought them into Maya because that's the animation package I'm most familiar with and comfortable animating in. So let's jump over into Maya and let me show you what that looks like. So essentially I just exported the skeleton and I made my own rig um, very quickly and easily. I also used the reparent tool, which is a really nice kind of quick on the fly rigging solution. Essentially it creates an IK rig that you can bake down back to the skeleton. This is stuff you can do manually. It's not like crazy, but it's really nice to have in a single tool. Um, I'll put a link in the description for that as well. So I use that to just quickly animate the arms and then bake everything to skeleton. And then I could do my own tweaks even on the joints themselves. I exported the scene itself as an FBX so I could properly place the skeleton character in the scene. And that's essentially it. Let me just scrub through so you can see I actually did animate this here. Um, I do have Animbot down here in the bottom. You can see I, I don't tend to use it that much, to be honest. The, the feature I use the most is the temporary pivot and the, uh, the motion trail I like the most on it. But, you know, I, I'm a out of the box guy. I like just using the tools that Maya gives me um, or anything, you know, these softwares are meant to be used. <laughs> um, so I try to avoid having to go deep on um, too many plugins. So um, I animated it in Maya, then I needed to export it back out as a skeletal animation so that I could bring it into Unreal. So back in, in Unreal, um, you can just see the animations here. It's just a, I did a little test to make sure I could bring it in. My head is in the way, let me move my head real quick. Um, you can see in the content browser here, just the couple of animations I brought in and that you can actually just bring this in right on the character. And you can see that is um, like real time how the scene works. Uh, it's pretty impressive. I'll just hit G on the keyboard to get rid of all the, well, let me hit G again so we can see the camera. Um, so that is how all that worked. And I cheated the title flying in and the title I just created in Maya as a mesh. Then I brought in Quixel Mixer, which is a free texturing software. Um, Quixel is also owned by Unreal. And I use Quixel to quickly just add some smart materials just to kind of break up the texture and add a gold shader to it. And from Mixer, you can export to Bridge, and from Bridge, you can export into Unreal with all the materials already applied. So it's a very drag and drop process. It's just there's you know one or two extra steps. It'd be nice if you could just go straight from Mixer to Unreal, but you have to bring it into your library in Bridge first and then export into Unreal. But that's essentially how I made this, this sequence, and hopefully that was kind of informative. It's nothing too crazy. I did no real color correction, compositing or anything like that. This is pretty straight out of the box 
which was my goal for the project. I wanted to use the tools as they're intended to be used and, you know, to their fullest. So hopefully that was informative. Check out digitalcreatorschool.com, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, if you're excited about this or if there's uh, special topics you want me to cover. Again, they're gonna be like three minutes long, very short YouTube videos. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting some uh, interesting content, content out there to you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Animation Secrets.